and the 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 cross interface. Make sure you don't tear up my man's grimoire over there. Enjoying my reactions, but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload? That's cool, because I got you covered. Chances are, by the time you watch this show on YouTube, I'll already have the full seasons available over on Patreon in their complete unedited glory. All you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron. And if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me, such as movies and shows, then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron. The ball is in your court, and I'm completely at your service. So take advantage of these opportunities now. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Tina Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't never seen. And today we got something special in store for y'all. We are reacting to some more Kamen Rider X Aid. Yes, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty because a lot of things have been revealed to my man Emu. He's the one who's been in the dark all this time, wondering why he gets these massive headaches after he transforms into the Mighty Brothers Double X, and wondering why everybody keeps snickering around him. You know, he's like, I am fed up, I want answers now, and he tries to get them from Hero, but Hero refuses to tell him what's really going on, and then we discover that the Dr. Sukuru, he's been attacked by Gim. Once again, Gim plans to use him as bait to bring out the other Kamen Riders so he can dispatch their gas shats. And I feel bad for this guy because he just lost his buddy Burger Man, who was basically a buckster that was still good. You know, Burger Man, he didn't want to hurt nobody. He just wanted to serve people some of the best burgers they've ever had in their lives and make these mukbang videos and shit like that. But yeah, um, a lot of people have just had it with Gim. Um, even my man Parada, who says that he is sick of Gim using these bucksters as, you know, little pawns and stuff like that <laughs> and my nigga Gim said hey I don't care what you say these guys are a means to an end I'm the one running this show right now and I plan on making this game that's gonna make everybody a common writer and they're just gonna do battle with each other while I sit on my throne as the game master and I don't know if it's just me but this kind of seems like a prelude to what we got in common writer Geats you know I know this was made by the same guy that made Geats but it seems like this was gonna be the idea and it seems like they kind of took a lot of liberties from this show to create Geats. Uh, am I wrong for thinking that? Like, is it is it wrong of me to say that Geats is essentially the love child of Kamen Rider X Aid? Who knows? All I know is they create this monster that's essentially the decoy. Um, this monster called Revol, uh, who's basically like this uh, revolver or something like that, like a gun. And they don't take him seriously. Nobody takes him seriously. They try to dispatch of him very quickly and stuff like that. And Revol, he's like, I'm getting tired of y'all not taking me seriously. And Gilm essentially just kills the guy like it ain't nothing. And that relieves Dr. Sakaru of his illness. And that's when Kamen Rider Paradox comes out of nowhere. And he decides to go ahead and fuck up Gim for messing over all these bucksters which he does by using the perfect critical combo to defeat the guy but before Gim bows out he tells my man Emu that the reason why he wasn't compatible for that surgery is because he was the first person to have the buckster virus and that's when all hell breaks loose like Emu starts to destabilize, his body starts to glitch up, and we see this big flash of yellow, and that's where the episode ends. So I can't wait to see how this is going to play out, guys. Hopefully you are enjoying this new format. I apologize to those who enjoyed the duo format, which included my wife, but the show must go on, and hopefully you guys can continue to watch me along for this ride. So um, without further ado, guys, I want to go ahead and jump into this. This next episode is going to be titled, All of a Sudden. So here we go. His eyes. My goodness. So is he gonna just make everybody sick? Yes, yeah, an upset stomach and all. Yeah, he's all right. But if a virus is broken out, don't you think we need to do something about that? I have to pull the shit out of his ass if we have to. Bro. Yo. He's definitely acting a lot overconfident. 
I haven't seen him trip once. Oh, so that was supposed to happen? Wow. <laughs> Your plan didn't work, you sore loser. I hope you develop tendonitis in your shoulders from trying to do all this shit. Wow. Oh yeah, Samurai Sentai Shikin's your hometown? Yo! Okay, one, two, step with it. Wow, what focus. I'd have slapped your ass. Oh, shit. Upset stomach. That's a reflux. What's going on? <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's get it, man. We got a future Jabberwocky on our hands. Uh huh. <laughs> No, we love playing around with you. Yeah, it's like whatever they erased in him, it wasn't him himself, but something with his personality. Maybe. This ain't right, though. Something in the milk ain't clean. I'm not sure what this is. I just like how nonchalant he's acting, though. I'm the main character. Got a blast. Ooh! The A Town stomp on him, man. <laughs> That's the guy. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, so it's essentially how these Bucksters are doing. They're staying inside the bodies and just controlling the humans. <laughs> See, he's still infected. Mm. Slide it. Know what time it is. Let's get some combos, baby. Uppercut. Vree vree. <laughs> All right, you came in all confident. Now get the upgrade. Uh, too fast. Armorized. Hey, it's like a Super Smash Brothers power up. Goddamn Metal Mario over here. Let's get it. Uh, what you got now, Robot Roberto over here? Really? How do we get it out? Really? Boring. I to slap the shit out of you. Oh, 
Right. I don't even like how you originally are, but I'm starting to really hate this version and miss the old version. What's wrong now? Here we go with this again. <laughs> Powered back up 100%. Oh! Bruh. Robocop ain't got shit on me. Really now? So is it going to be the same costume or a different variation? Let's go. Let's see what you got, man. Oh, shit. Get the fuck on. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see what this is going to look like. Plus. Game on. <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Zombie over here. I can't stand you. Why does he always come out of nowhere? No. Title Fantasy. Featuring Takashi 69 Oh, he gets a new upgrade. <laughs> Hurry up. Are you going to give it to him? Wow. Oh, shit. The armor can drop. Oh, they can throw projectiles. You need to hurry up and transfer him, sir. You can do better. Well, hurry up and do it. Confusion. <laughs> hey, what the hell going on? That's crazy. Yeah, there you go. Trying to say I ain't strong enough? Let's get it. Twist it. This is in his wheelhouse anyway, since he's a uh, RPG type. It's gonna be cool. Damn, that should cover up most of his neck. Oh shit. Wow. No, don't turn on them. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Let's go. That was really about to violate this chick. <laughs> Best doctor. Let's get it. You see the cape swing? Now 
That's right. You better swing it. Oh shit. He hasn't used the Mighty Number X though. Or the Mighty Brothers Double X. Okay. Let's get it. <laughs> Violate these fools. Oh, wow. He's a force user, too. <laughs> That's how we're playing this. You underestimate my power. Ugh. Re, 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 re. What you got to use? Oh, really? Ooh. <laughs> mm. Cake flap. Now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> Wow! What the fuck, bro? He is too OP right now! <laughs> Dragon Knight. Better watch out! Mmm! All right, how is this gonna go? They well, canceling that shit all the way out. You didn't fucked up, bro. You've been fucking up for the past couple of episodes. Get this rider kick to the dick. Yeah, double rider kick. Damn. There you go. There you go, you can take this shit back. If you act like that again or I have to slap you. <laughs> of course this punk is over there. Emu. But guys, that concludes the episode 19. Man, that was a fun-ass episode. Uh, it's always funny to see how these characters act differently, you know, especially if they're being possessed by something. I'm not sure if that was the case for Emu in particular, but I thought it was, especially after seeing the geisha girl, you know, get her boogie on, thanks largely in part to this monster, this buckster taking over her body. You know, like, give, like M, Emu, he was kind of doing the same thing but it seems like his virus is a lot different you know um it looks like we're going to be seeing similar cases with this in later episodes where we see other people get um possessed and it's not going to be like that whole thing of them performing operation with level one we might not see uh level one transformations that much either it might just go right into level two so that's interesting i'm not sure if that's going to be the case but you know if it is it's interesting nonetheless, man. But I really love that Hero stepped it up. It's like Hero, he usually is the guy that likes to do things solo dolo, and he can't stand Emu and how he acts, but even he was starting to miss the old Emu compared to this more cocky, arrogant one that just loves gaming. You know, he just wants the game. It's like they took the humility out and left all the douchebaggery up in Emu. But now everything seems to be balanced. We're on the men's, and hopefully we're gonna be able to get this shit out of him. Uh, if I were to rate this one, I would give it a high S. I really enjoyed that new form that he has. Like, it looks badass. You know, even if it required him to be level 50, somehow he was able to override that and actually utilize the form. So, that was awesome. I really enjoyed it, man. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, Brave Fantasy Gamer is a level that I really hope to see again. So, yeah. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this next episode, which is going to be episode 20 titled Take Off Against the Direction of the Wind. So we got some Wind Waker shit up in this. Let's find out. So it enables him to jump higher. What? Ah. What happened? Lord. <laughs> <gasps> Nutty? <laughs> wow. What a punk. Timmy. Wow. Lord. Of course, so we're going to see more things just like we saw in the last episode with these guys. Blu-ray. I don't do it for you. I do it to look cool and for the ratings. Exactly. Hopefully. Y'all always get some kind of signal when y'all was about to do this surgery. <laughs> yeah, you've been infected, bro. <laughs> Whatever, you were crying like a little biatch too when you got infected. Oh, shit. The Grimace with Milli Vanilli dreadlocks. Wow. He has a shoulder mounted cannon. Give it to me. <laughs> Exactly. You ain't even qualified, sir. Trying to go ahead and drop it on him. Yeah. Operations go, baby. Let's do this. What's wrong with him? Oh, uh, he's feeling left out. Okay. Two on two. Bruh. Why are y'all so hell bent on stealing this man's gash at? Hey, summoning swords. <laughs> there you go. Twist it. Puzzle. Oh, you must ain't seen Street Fighter Puzzle Fighter before. It's like, I do this, homie. I like how they make him look like a king by ordering these guys to do his bidding. Hey, oh wow. Okay, hero, what you gonna do, man? Elasticize, oh wow. <laughs> that is hilarious. Hmm. 
And this guy, he has to be the third wheel and be left out. Well, that's cheating. I'm gonna use now. Oh shit, he's in Ryu mode. I wanna see him use a tornado kick at least once. <laughs> Mm. Show you, say, say, yay! Whip. Mm. Just playing with you. How long does it take for them to get to level fifty? You really let this chump beat you? But you're a pussy, that's what you're saying. <laughs> what the fuck? Girl? What is that? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be on all these rides, but I'm going to be sick of shit. It's like, just because you're a walking shock tart that loves this kind of shit doesn't mean we do. I got my boy on dialysis. Why is that so funny? Oh, here we go. You're reactivating the virus, sir. <laughs> well, you're going to blow her up in what kind of way, sir? Really? Bang Bang Simulations. Why do you guys look like Optimus Prime up on the thumbnail? Half ownership. You just made that rule up yourself. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get off of me. <laughs> Can I have this dance? Wow. <laughs> Blast them fools. No. Do we really want to go out like this? Sarecto. This chump. And do you really want to do this? Okay, retrieve it there, nigga. Mm. Uh oh, Manta style? This guy is confident. Let's see what he does with the level 50 gas shot. 
I got the bopping gas hat. I'll never forgive a guy that wears a lab coat and camouflage pants. Five years ago. Well, let's see you do it then, sir. Boom, boom, see Battleship. It's like we're about to play a game of Crossfire. Let's get it, baby. I'm the captain of this cruise crusade. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Thought you could stop me. Got missiles on top of missiles, son. El Capitan. Damn. Shit, why did y'all just sit there? Sometimes you guys gotta move, man. Y'all always do this to yourself. Hey, locking on. <laughs> Bastard, you sank my battleship! What you gonna do, man? You gonna punk out? That's right. Let's get it. Yeah. God damn it. Take care of him, bro. Exactly. Don't shoot somebody. Shoot me. Got some hard cannons right now. Y'all ready to blow? Charge! That was a little underwhelming. <laughs> there you go, sharing is caring, baby. So what, level 20? Yeah, unknown variable. Okay. We'll see how that goes, but guys, that right there was episode 20, man. We up in here for real. Like, everybody using their own little gas chats and stuff, man. We got a chance to see my boy use his, you know, and his look a lot cooler. A lot cooler, man. Like, I like how he has the cannons on it. And this number keeps calling my phone. Yeah, uh, simulation 
snipe simulation gamer i love that like everybody continues to play to their uh skill sets and this guy being a shooter this was the perfect thing for him i like how they mix in the battleship um genre with it as well which is like this kind of tactical game where it's all about moving at the right spots and stuff like that I feel like that was kind of like the undertone of this episode, being at the right spot at the right time. As we see, it's like everybody is not fit to handle these high level gas shots. Uh, Hero, I could tell that he was going to get overwhelmed with his. It's almost like the same effect that um, Emu's Mighty Brothers Double X has on him where it gives him these massive headaches. Um, these other gadgets kind of like take its toll on the users as well. Uh, Gim seems like he is very much dedicated to creating this new game and this new fucking driver that he has. Uh, well, not driver, gas shot. The Dangerous Zombies Level X, Level 10 driver, you know, which it's always like a wild card, it seems, because, you know, his zombie form, it's already one of those things. It's like an instant cheat code. He's able to bypass the laws of death and can keep on fighting after sustaining a lot of damage. I don't know, man. That's crazy. But yeah, we're going to start. We're going to be seeing, as I suspect, we're going to be seeing a lot of other innocent bystanders get possessed by these new bugs to viruses, which seem to not just, you know, extract themselves from the actual person that's been infected, but actually utilize their bodies as the vessel so they can go out and wreak all kinds of havoc. Um, that seems like it's going to continue to be the trend. Those are like the next level viruses that we have to deal with. But really enjoyed that one. Overall, I would give it a solid A+. It was cool seeing Tiger step it up for a change because you know he was itching to transform this guy he lost his gas shot so he really wanted to get out there and not ride the bench like he had been doing for the past few episodes so shout outs to him man I can't wait to see what they're going to do next I can't wait to see what this dangerous zombie level 10 is going to be like too man this is going to be very interesting but anyways with all that said and done I, I hope you enjoyed this video because i had a blast reacting to it with you and for you if there's anything that i may have missed or got misconstrued by all means provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling your boy don't do it don't dare but this is your boy rbg aka the random black gamer we ain't seen the reactions i'll catch you guys in the next reaction too coming with ida x aid peace